Welcome back friends again another session of biology with maths and in this video also we are talking about another protein techniques and a use of analytical mind to solve the questions. It is not 100% mathematical term but still it is very very important question. So let's begin with the reading the question. There is void volume of the gel. You know what is void volume that is the thing you need to know because if you don't understand the terminology it is no way that you can solve the question. So void volume of the gel filtration column V0 is termed as equals to 30 milliliter and a monomeric protein, you know, simple small monomeric protein with known molecular weight of 25 kilodalton eludes at a volume of 45 ml and the protein of interest that you are trying to purify, that you are trying to elude, that eludes uh, at the volume of 35 ml, which is the valid conclusion based on this particular input. These are the three different conclusions. Now, uh, let's start to read that again and again until it gets clear in your mind. The thing is, the void volume of a gel filtration column, let me draw a gel filtration column because except that there is nothing else to worry about for the question. In the gel filtration column, what we have, we have uh, the column inside, we are having uh, different beads and the beads, you know, poly, you know, carbohydrate beads, polysaccharide beads and the polysaccharide that is present in this uh, they have pores in it. So these are polysaccharide beads. They have pores inside. So the situation, if I zoom into one of these beads, it will look something like this. So let me draw it. So there are mesh or network-like structure. So these are the pores or networks that are present. Now what happens, the general principle of this size exclusion or elution chromatography is that once we add our sample, suppose we add our sample mixture, so actually it is mixed with many different proteins, so we meet, uh, place it and suppose 3 or 4 protein mixture is there, now actually based on these beads, the small or smaller molecular weight containing proteins, as they are smaller in size and shape, they easily enter into these pores. So small proteins enter into the pore. So then once it's entered into the pore, the travel is very, 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 very slower. But the larger ones, but the large ones actually exceeds this, and they simply pass between the regions of these beads. Instead of entering into the beads, they just pass through the blank regions of the beads because the you know, beads are of different amorphous structure uh, or simple round shape so they can have a gap so they actually pass through the gap now this gap region that are present inside the gap that are present inside all the gaps if we calculate all the gaps the, the volume of all the gaps are termed as void volume so you get the void volume understanding there so it is kind of the complete volume there. So in this case, what happens actually, you put the mixture in, we need it to elute through this place. So during this process, the monomeric protein of known molecular weight is 25 kDa or kilodalton. 25 kilodalton. And that thing elutes at 45 milliliter. That means once you start putting the solution and you take that solution out with different, uh, I mean, containers, what we find that as 45 ml of the concentration, 45 ml of the concentration, that protein with 25 kilodalton molecular weight just come out. Okay. How could you know that there is our protein? We simply take that and put it into the gel electrophoresis, run it to find out whether it is there or not. SDS page is usually done. Now, we don't know what is the molecular weight of our protein of interest. That's what we need to find. But what we get, we get some idea. The idea with compared to the known protein, which is having the molecular weight of 25 kD, and we also know that protein is at 45 milliliter. Now, in this question, they have also told us that our protein of interest is used at 35 milliliter. That means once we start putting the solution and taking the solution out, our protein of interest will come here fast, earlier than the protein of known. Right? So what does that mean? Our protein comes earlier than this protein. And in this exclusion chromatography, which protein comes earlier, large or small? According to the knowledge, we know large protein 
pass earlier because they won't enter into the carbohydrate beads, they won't enter into the pore formed by polysaccharide, they just pass through the uh, small gaps inside and they just come out. So, our protein of insert interest eludes faster than the known protein that is of 25 kd. So, this is going to tell us the important insight that our protein is larger than the protein that we know of that is 25 kd. So, what among these conclusions are true? Definitely the molecular weight of our protein equals to 25 kd. No, it's not true because it should be higher. So, our protein molecular weight is greater than 25 kd. Yes, that is correct. Our protein molecular weight is less than 25 kilo Not. So, actually valid conclusion will be the molecular weight of our un unknown protein, that's, that's uh, our protein of our interest, is greater than the known protein molecular weight because of this comparative study that we have conducted. Remember, using the study, you cannot tell exactly the molecular weight of our protein, but what we can say is that the comparative nature, whether this protein is having more molecular weight than the known protein or less, that's it.